Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, Persona 5 The Phantom X is officially out and I'll be starting my playthrough on YouTube tomorrow, so definitely subscribe to stay tuned. Anyways, following on from my previous video is a quick tutorial on how to play P5X with an English translator so you're not screenshotting every 5 seconds with Google Translate. It is a very easy process and will work with the Chinese, Taiwan and Korean versions of the game. Afterwards, I'll be talking about some FAQs from last video around mobile and different regions and how to troubleshoot some issues that uh, everyone was having. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned, um, but we'll get straight into um, the English mod. First of all, um, I don't take any credit for this English mod. I'm not the one who developed it. All the credit goes to Bitter Bandit on Twitter. Um, and I'll also link um, the Twitter as well as the YouTube video down in the description below. Um, and he has a Discord server, which you will need to join in order to download the, the English translator like app um, patch. Um, and basically all you do is just join it to the Discord uh, and I'm doing uh, this demonstration on the Taiwan servers, uh, but it will work for Korea and China, which I'll show you. Uh, if there is anything for mobile, um, I'll let you know down below. Um, currently, I don't believe there is anything for mobile. I think for mobile, there are a few people um, who are actually using either emulators, which are just based on PC, which means this, this model will work for those ones. Or if they have downloaded them onto their phones, they're using an overlay. Um, a Bepinex sort of Linux based overlay, um, which I'm not too sure about. I'm, I'm not really sure about any of that sort of stuff. So definitely go and look for videos on Reddit or Twitter um, for that sort of stuff. Um, but if there is any simpler uh, mobile methods that you don't have to mess around with emulators and different you know codes and all that sort of stuff, um, I'll definitely do a video about that one. But so far I haven't seen anything. So unfortunately it's PC only at this stage. Plus, I actually haven't got mobile working in my region either, so I can't even download the app, so I can't even test anything. So, yeah, well, there's that. So, firstly, you'll need to download the game from the Taiwan or Korean websites, which I have a video linked in the description below, which is the previous video that I taught you how to do it. Um, and once you've downloaded that, you'll need to install the P5X file. So, once you've installed the P5X file, basically, you want to go into the Discord server and join the P5X Worldwide Discord. And once you join the Discord, you want to go into mod development, um, which is basically what you would want to find your mod updates for CN, which is China, the China server, TW, which is the Taiwan server, and Korea, which is Korean server. So you just basically go on to whichever server you're playing on. So I'm playing on Taiwan. And it looks like there's actually it's updates since the last time I actually downloaded everything. Um, but basically, you just want to download this auto translator file. Um, so it looks like an updated one is here. Um, but I'm just going to show you this one because this is the one that I've got installed. So you want to download this from uh, Mediafire. So download that and then you'll save it into your downloads. So once you download it, you want to extract it. And once you extract it, what you want to do is you want to click into the auto translator file of whatever region you have. And you want to copy all this. So either control C or right click copy. And then once that's done, you want to go to where your P5X is saved. So in my case, it's on my local disk. As you can see, P5X. So we're gonna click on P5X. You wanna click on client and you wanna click on PC. And then you wanna paste everything in here. So I've already got everything pasted, which is why it's not happening, but you wanna paste everything that you copied from that file into the PC, P5X client PC folder. So if you don't have any of these folders, it either means that you actually haven't installed the game from the installer um, or something's gone wrong. So you either will have to restart your PC um, uninstall or reinstall the game or possibly even just maybe there's possibly like a a, a weird um, double double process going on so maybe just execute the the file from task manager to see if you have any p5x lurking around in the processes um, but if not it probably just uninstall and reinstalling or restarting your pc is the best bet but you should have these folders so once completed actually you'll be in here and then you'll see the application of p5x so this application is the default application that it you know, when you install the game, it's the one that's, you know, gets set up in your desktop. You don't want to launch from this application. You want to go back to the P5X application and launch from the P5X launcher app. So GAT is, I believe it's only Taiwan that has the GAT um, uh, prefix, uh, prefix for the launcher. Um, I believe uh, Korea is just P5X launcher, but you want to go into the P5X and launch the application from the launcher file, not from the PC file. I'm not too sure why that is, but it won't work if you launch it from um, the PC file. So always launch it from the P5X one. So now I'm just gonna go launch the game. So when you actually launch the game, um, 
any all, all of this sort of stuff in here will not get translated. Um, I believe it's a separate sort of um, initial file than the actual game files. Um, so unfortunately, this stuff won't be translated. But if you do click into the game, so if I just click into the game and go in, so again, this notices screen will not get translated. So that's another thing that just to be wary of. Um, and then if I actually just go this, as you can see, tips, raw attention, the process may take several minutes. And you can see everything's translated. If I go into the settings file, you can see everything's translated here, shadow quality, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, you know, rendering scale. So this is all, if you don't have the English mod, this will all be in Chinese or Korean. Um, so as you can see, the mod does work um, and it has been working for a lot of people and you'll see with my playthrough tomorrow that it will work in game as well. So a couple of things I want to go over uh, first um, are it's, it's a translation and not a dub, um, which basically means the mod takes the information for whichever language you're using, sends it to a server and the server sends back the translation uh, into English. Um, this means that it will take a bit of time for translations to actually come through and work and also which means you'll get these weird like you can see these weird like off-center ones that aren't actually supposed to well they are supposed to be there but they're not supposed to be in these locations obviously so you will get a little bit of a skew here and there um, however when you do um, have a translation uh, for example um, like common translations such as like you know when you go into the menu shadow quality is always going to be shadow quality it's not like a progressive text or anything or skills that always will have the same you know, um, uh, description, uh, passives, um, yes or no problems, stuff like that. And the mod does cache it, um, which basically means that the, the English translation loads much faster. So when I first went into this config, um, it took a while to translate shadow quality, for example. Um, but now it, I can just go out and I can go straight back in and it's, it's already cached. So it's already been translated, so it won't translate it again. Um, another thing is that because it is a translation, uh, not everything will be 100% correct. Um, and some things may sound awkward or not uh, seem quite right. Um, so don't worry, your game isn't being hacked or whatever. <laughs> it is just what it is. Um, and that's just the nature of, of mods, I guess. Um, but in saying that, I know um, the person who's developing the mod um, is basically improving it. And as you can saw in that Discord uh, server before, um, basically hasn't improved it, essentially. Um, so you can basically just keep um, recopying those files basically into, into where, wherever you need to um, in order to get uh, I guess better mods. So lastly, the mod doesn't translate everything. Um, so certain UI elements. So for example, this sort of stuff here, um, and then UI elements in the game, as well as that like information um, about like all the notices and stuff. So th these aren't translated. Uh, I believe they're actually a separate executable file or some of them are actually image files, which means that the mod won't work for those particular um, parameters, unfortunately, um, but you know, as long as the main thing, the, the, the dialogue and the story definitely do work. So I have seen it work for those ones. Um, and actually through my testing for my playthrough, it does work as well. So all that sort of stuff does work. Some of UI elements do not, but you know, it is what it is. So I would highly recommend if anything doesn't work for you, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, otherwise, the Discord server has a dedicated help page and it has a lot of very helpful troubleshooting uh, tips. So you can see here, general tips and tricks. There's like even builds discussion now and there's like installation tutorials. This, this server basically that's been set up is awesome. The community is very helpful, very nice. So definitely go in there and ask for any troubleshooting tips um, that I can't answer basically. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go over some free FAQs while you watch uh, watch the main characters ride the uh, ride the train here. Um, so just some FAQs from my last video. I'm gonna go quick fire on these, so definitely shoot me a DM or comment um, down below, um, or even just go into the Discord servers of the relevant people from those videos to discuss further. If you're still not too sure, um, I'll try and answer everything as best I possibly can. So for the installer, some people were saying the icon was grayed out. I'm not too sure why this is because I downloaded both the Taiwan and Korean versions and they worked fine for me. So all I can really say is just make sure that you click on the agreement box in the bottom left because if you don't, then it won't let you progress it and it may lock you out if you accidentally press it without agreeing to it. Um, so just make sure you take check that. Um, otherwise, you should be able to proceed. Uh, sub ranges don't have Google, uh, or maybe you don't have a Google account. Um, so you don't actually need a Google account. Um, any email will just work fine. Um, and even Apple ID will work fine as well. Um, there are other means to, to in like log in basically as well. 
uh, Taiwan and Korea don't need any verification or age verification or identity verification. So you can just download the game and then just play. Uh, trouble with mobile. So I did mention this in the last video, uh, but I cannot get mobile to work. Unfortunately, I did mention it beginning of this video as well. Um, in Australia, we are very tight on the App Store um, and Sony Islands being region locked, it is very difficult um, for us to actually get anything. So when I try and download mobile version of P5X on iOS or Android, um, it does not work. Uh, so even when I change the region, so that's why I don't know how to answer these questions. Sorry guys, so definitely go and refer to Twitter, Reddit, or even um, now that the Taiwan and Korean versions are out, I, ha I have a feeling that most people's issues came from trying to download the Chinese version, which is very convoluted and complicated to actually do, um, unless you like brute force your way through, or if you have the patience of a god. Um, and basically, yeah, you just you just really need to um, yeah take a step back for that version. But now that the Taiwan and Korean version is out, you can probably download it just fine. Just change the region to Taiwan and or Korea, and then you should be able to download it, and then just follow the steps, and then log in with the email account, and then you're good to go. Alright, so very easy English translation mod to install and you're basically ready to go and you won't have to learn uh, Chinese or Korean, which is the best part. So I'm definitely excited to play, in fact, uh, I'll be playing straight after this video. Uh, but for more Persona 5 The Phantom X, please definitely leave a like and subscribe. Um, and definitely comment down below if you have any other issues, I will try and answer them to the best of my abilities. Playthrough of P5X is coming out tomorrow and I'll be uploading pretty much daily from now on. A lot of P5X content just gonna smash through it um, i'm really looking forward to this game and it's gonna be absolutely amazing so definitely you know you know expect a ton more p5x on my channel i appreciate all the support guys um, and thank you very much for watching and i hope you guys have a great day Bye.